In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily get set up in the brand new station application. I'll also be showing you how to simply download the brand new station web extension and get it all connected to the website. Let's dive into it. The first thing you'll want to do is go to station.terra.money. Now be very careful and make sure that you go to the correct website because there are a lot of scam websites out there that are trying to mimic this website, make it look identical. That way they can steal your wallet info and steal all the money inside your wallet. Now when you go to the website, the first thing you want to do is go to this top right hand corner where you see a button that says connect. When you click on that button, you can see that it gives you a couple options. Now we're going to want to do the install Terra Station wallet application. However, there are also options to install XDeFi wallet and install Leap wallets, do a wallet connect, access with Ledger. There's a couple different options here, but again, we're going to focus on this install Terra Station. This pops up a Chrome Web Store link where you can say, hey, this is the station wallet. And again, make sure that this is the correct station wallet. Don't just Google this and then click on a link that you see. There are fake one of these out there, so be careful. Make sure you're going to the right one. When you get to the right one, though, you can click on the add to Chrome and we can go to add extension. This is going to give you a pop-up that station has been added to Chrome. We can click right here. It's going to show for available networks, and it gives you a couple options, a couple guidelines as to how to set up a wallet. So if you have an existing station wallet, here are the instructions for that. If you have a non-station wallet, here are the instructions from that. Here's how to use it from Ledger. But we're just going to click Confirm. Now, if you want a brand new wallet, you will click on this new wallet link. This is if you've never set up anything before. This pop-up right here is going to ask you to name your wallet, set up a password, confirm your password, and right here is going to be your seed phrase. Now this seed phrase, you wanna keep this private. Do not share this with anybody. Never ever share this. Nobody ever needs to have access to your seed phrase and make sure you store it securely. Do not store it on a computer in a seed phrase.txt document. That is not gonna go well for you. Somebody hacks your computer, they could get your seed phrase and steal everything from your wallet. So make sure to instead store it by writing it down on paper and storing that in secure location. Maybe you have a backup stored somewhere else. Do your own due diligence as to how you wanna securely store this, but make sure that you have the seed phrase written down somewhere safe where it's not vulnerable to be hacked or stolen. If you already have a seed phrase to a wallet, you can click on this recover wallet option. This looks kind of similar. You can name a wallet, set up a password, confirm the password. And then right here, you enter in the seed phrase. So this is if you already have a seed phrase. Now, if you don't have a seed phrase, but maybe you have a private key, you can go back over the extension. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this import wallet option. Now, this import wallet option is going to pop up and ask for the keys to the network or to the wallet that you have. And right here is where you enter in that private key and you enter in the password that is associated with the wallet. Now, if you enter in an incorrect password, it's not gonna work. So in this case, you need the private key and the password if you already have a station wallet set up. Regardless of which option you pick, you are now gonna have a pop-up that looks like this. It's gonna have in the top right-hand corner your wallet name, it's gonna have the asset value, and it's gonna default over to the 2.0 network. Now, if you wanna change this, you can go to the cog up here in the top right-hand corner, click on that and go to, for example, if you wanna go to Terminal Classic, you can click on the Classic Network, and this is gonna show you the Terminal Classic Network as soon as this loads, it'll show my actual asset balance. And you can see that here. You can see I hold some Taylor Classic, some USDC, my asset value. You can see the change in asset value. It's kind of a nice layout. And also, if you go up to the extension yet again, right above me, we can see that this shows as well up here. Great. Now that we have the wallet set up, we can go back to the station website, click refresh, and you'll get this pop up. It says connect to application. It's going to try and connect your wallet to this application. It's going to be your wallet address. Click connect, give it a second. If it doesn't pop up, what you can do is press refresh yet again. And you can see in the top right hand corner, that connect button has now turned into a wallet address button. And you can see it's also now loading in my wallet balance right behind me. If I move over, you can see that a little bit better. You can see the wallet balance again, my Lunk, USTC, all the balances right there. Now, unfortunately, if you download a wallet, it's worthless unless you actually utilize that. So if you don't hold any assets, now is the time to go ahead and pick up some assets. And if you already have assets, then the next thing you need to know is how to stake those assets like Tier Luna Classic. They're insane yield potential. If you want to learn about staking, check out this video up here.